When it comes to reading a green, most golfers understand it's probably a pretty good idea to stand back behind your ball and take a look at their putt. The fact is there's a lot more to it than that. What I'm going to talk about right now is a five-step green reading process that is guaranteed to get you guys making more putts. The first thing I want you to do is when you approach the golf hole, just take a moment to figure out where the downhill direction is. If you imagine this golf hole overflowing with water, that water's got to run down a slope. Put your feet in that position where the water would run back down towards your body, and that's downhill. That will tell you right away if this putt is breaking to the right or breaking to the left. The next thing I'd like you to do is just take a moment to look from the opposite side. Everyone knows you should crouch down behind the ball and look towards the hole. I want you to take just one second to look from the hole back to the ball. Use your imagination a little bit. Picture the ball going up the slope and then turning in the downhill direction. That's a great place to start. From here, as you walk back around to your normal position, looking from the ball towards the hole, I want you to take a moment to put some awareness in your feet. As I start walking down this slope, if I pay attention, I can feel myself walking downhill. That tells me a lot about what the slope is like at the hole. As I walk around and make a little left-hand turn, now I can feel myself walking uphill a little bit. That tells me what the slope is like where the ball is. It's not uncommon to have your ball sitting on a very severe slope and then once you get down towards the hole to have that slope flatten out. That's going to mean a lot to the line that you play. From here, you're back looking from that traditional angle, looking from the ball towards the hole, and this is where you're going to make your initial interpretation of where this putt's going to break. So let's say in this case I think it's going to break a foot from right to left. What I'm going to do now is the most important aspect of green reading, and it's called the shift technique. I'm going to take my entire body from the ball to hole line, and I'm going to shift it off that line so that I'm now looking one foot right of the cup. Most golfers grossly underread the break. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend an extra second here. We're actually going to shift our body back and forth quite a bit, trying to get a better read on where we think this ball is going to go. You'll find that the more you start shifting back and forth down that slope, the more that slope's going to appear before your eyes, and you'll find that true break. Once you find the true break from the shift, you're going to walk in on that new line, not the ball to hole line, but your shift line, and you're going to make a few rehearsal strokes, just trying to get a feel for the speed. If the speed is good and the line is good, I should have a real great shot at making this putt. A little more speed and we got it. So here are the keys. Number one, find the downhill direction. Number two, look from the opposite side of the hole. Number three, as you're walking around, pay close attention to the way the ground feels below your feet. Go from the, the ball back to the hole. Number four, shift off that line. That's the biggest key in this whole thing. Number five, approach and execute. I guarantee if you can just follow those five steps, I know it seems like a lot, you'll get the hang of it, it'll happen real fast, and I guarantee it's going to help you read greens better.